Hey Creekside, happy Tuesday. Hope everyone's doing well and you enjoyed the book yesterday. I have a special guest with me today. This is my daughter, Madeline. You wanna say hi, Maddie? Hi. Hi. Maddie is gonna help me read the story today. Just like at Creekside, many of you like to join me for the book of the month. Maddie's gonna help me read today. And Maddie actually picked this book out. It's called Happy Birthday Moon and it's got a really nice message in it. So here we go and I hope you enjoy it. One night, Bear looked up at the sky and thought, wouldn't it be nice to give the moon a birthday present? Daddy, you can't do that number. But Bear didn't know when the moon's birthday was or what to get him. So he climbed a tall tree to have a little chat with the moon. Hello, moon, he shouted, but the moon did not reply. Maybe I'm too far away, thought Bear, and the moon cannot hear me. So Bear paddled across the river and hiked through the woods in the mountains. Now I am much closer to the moon, thought Bear, and again he shouted, Hello! This time his own voice echoed off one of the other mountains. Hello! Bear got very excited. Oh boy, he thought. I'm talking to the moon. Tell me, asked Bear, when is your birthday? Tell me, when is your birthday? replied the moon. Well, it just so happens that my birthday is tomorrow, said Bear. Well, it just so happens that my birthday is tomorrow, said the moon. What do you want for your birthday, asked Bear. What do you want for your birthday, asked the moon. Bear thought for a moment, then he replied, I would like a hat. I would like a hat, said the moon. Oh, goody, thought Bear. Now I know what to get the moon for his birthday. Goodbye, said Bear. Goodbye, said the moon. When Bear got home, he dumped all the money out on his pinky bank. Yeah. There's Bear getting ready to buy the moon a birthday present. Then he went downtown and he brought, brought the moon a beautiful hat. That night he put the hat up in a tree where the moon could find it. Then he waited and watched while the moon slowly crept up through the branches and tried on the hat. Hooray, yelled Bear, it fits just right. During the night, while Bear slept, the hat fell out of the tree. In the morning, Bear found the hat on his doorstep. So the moon got me a hat too, explained Bear. He tried it on, and it fit perfectly. But just then, the wind blew Bear's hat off his head, and he chased after it. By, but it got away that night. Bear paddled across the river. And he hiked through the forest and he talked with the moon. For a long time, the moon would not speak to him. So Bear spoke first. Hello, he shouted. Hello, replied the moon. I lost the beautiful hat you gave me, said the bear. I lost the beautiful hat you gave me, said the moon. That's okay, I still love you, said bear. That's okay, I still love you too, said the moon. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, said bear. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, said the moon. What a wonderful story. Thank you, Maddie, for helping me read that today. So I love the message in here that you can always do something nice for somebody. You know, Bear went out of his way to do something for the moon on his birthday. And this is a great time for you to try to do something nice for someone as well. Hope you enjoyed the book. Everyone have a great Tuesday. Stay healthy and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.